Hey everybody, Hunter back again uh, from Showtime Studios. Uh, I had a question come up the other day on a uh, video of mine, and it was from, um, I hope I get this name right, uh, Pierre uh, Furlan uh, was the guy that asked the question, and it was actually a very good question, and um, it was, uh, could I elaborate more on the basics? And uh, I think there is a big um, misunderstanding of the basics, and um, I know there's a lot of people that don't realize what the basics are and how important they are in a model. Um, I'm going to touch on a few of the things that, um, that are considered the basics and uh, what to look for. Um, I won't be able to do it all because it would be about probably an hour long uh, video, and we don't want to do that. Um, because I don't want to sit here and talk for an hour uh, straight on a video, and you all don't want to look at me that long. So, um, But to uh, kind of give you an idea of what is considered the basics, um, say you open up a model kit, and uh, you're getting ready to start on that model. Um, you know, one of the basics is you know how well you cut the parts off the parts tree. And, you know, knowing where to clip some parts, uh, whether you clip them close to the actual part or you clip them away from it, um, which also comes down to a thing of just experience. I mean, if you clip it in the wrong spot, you will realize that um, that was the wrong spot and not to do that again. Um, so, you know, that can be considered a basic. Uh, when you get into the actual construction of the model, uh, one of the first basic, basics that uh, needs to be learned is how to glue two parts together without, you know, having glue squeeze out. Um, you know, and, and that all comes down to uh, what type of glue you're using, um, you know, whether it's a clear glue, whether it's a MEK uh, liquid glue for plastic, uh, epoxies, uh, super glues. Uh, there, there's a lot of things to learn, and you have to learn each one of those, those individual adhesives. Um, to be able to master your basics. Um, you have to learn what you can use super glue on and um, what you can't. And, you know, like for me, super glue is not a, uh, it has no shear strength. So I don't try to use it on suspensions or anything where they have to, um, you know, travel back and forth to shows and have a load put on them because super glue just won't hold up. And uh, so, you know, your adhesives is something that, that is definitely a basic and, you know, mastering each one of them individually is all part of it and then you know you get into more of the construction and it's how to uh, be able to interpret the instructions uh, in the kit and look at what you have uh, in the in the kit as far as parts and when you start dry fitting them and make them go together um, you know basics are how well you get those to fit together and you know that just comes with experience and like I say it all comes down to mastering the basics it takes time and uh, another basic is um, if you have two halves of something, like a uh, say on a truck, uh, tractor and trailer, uh, you'll have the fuel tanks. Uh, most all your kits come with a half uh, on this side and a half on this side, and you have to glue them together. Well, when you glue them together, you have a seam, and that seam needs to disappear. Whether it's going to be um, you know chromed later on uh, with you know alclad or whatever, um, or if you're going to paint it. Uh, that seam, you have to learn how to go in there and address that whole seam area. So when you paint over top of it with either a primer or a paint, uh, it disappears. Um, and seams are a very big uh, part of making a good model. Um, there are certain things that, uh, you know, doesn't need a seam in it. And most of all your two-part pieces on a model, you need to get rid of the seams. Uh, that is a big modeling basic. And learning how to do that is all a matter of mastering the basics. Uh, let's see, what else can be a part of the basics? Um, injector pin marks. Uh, you will notice there's these little round dots that are on a lot of parts. Um, if that part is in a hidden location and, you know, something's going to cover it up in that area where that dot is, you're okay. Um, you know, like uh, a lot of the guys that build the model trucks and stuff, uh, there's injector pin marks on the inside of the frame rails. Um, if that frame is exposed or you have a mirror underneath of that model, uh, you can see those injector pin marks. Uh, they are supposed to come out. That's another modeling basic. You know, can you go in and sand them out as they are, or do you have to fill them? Um, are they raised ones that you have to shave down? Uh, you know, so you have to master all aspects of different injector pin marks. 
and there can be some crazy locations they put them in sometimes um i know amt will put them right across the detail uh on a part so you have to kind of figure out how to make that work out that's a modeling basic uh you know and, and just assembly uh like when you get to your wheels and tires and stuff like that uh making sure they're all you know cambered straight up and down and towed straight ahead uh very important modeling basic um, you know, how your model sits on, on the uh, display or on a table or whatever, uh, you want to make sure that it's, you know, level, um, you know, if it's uh, being done up as a, you know, like a race car or something like that, you want some stance to it, but you have to make sure that's level side to side, unless you're simulating like a dirt track car or something like that, um, you know, and then you get into uh, like applying your, uh, your clear parts into your models, um, you know, learning how to do that without uh, showing any glue spots on them. Uh, that's a basic. Uh, the next basic is um, paint. Um, you know, learning how to lay down a, um, it doesn't have to be a super glossy finish um, because a lot of times super glossy is out of scale on a model, uh, but it has to be smooth and it has to be consistent with no, you know, dirt in it and no, um, you know, you, if you're trying to brush paint a, a, a car body or a truck body or something like that, uh, it's not going to cut it. Um, that's not, you know, that, that's not what um, modeling basics are. Uh, modeling basics are spraying that, you know, part uh, the way it should be sprayed and make it come out good. And, um, you know, then you get into, you know, you have flat clears, uh, semi-gloss clears, uh, um, gloss clear, uh, you know, and, and different styles of paints. Um, all of those need to be learned. And that's a basic, you know, learning what a lacquer will do and won't do. Uh, learning what acrylics and uh, enamels will do and won't do. And, you know, how you can make those interact with each other and what, uh, you know, sequence to put them in or whatever. That's all modeling basic. Uh, after the paint, you get up to uh, decals. Uh, decals are supposed to be applied to a model where they look like they're painted on. And uh, a lot of guys ask me why I clear over top of all my decals. Well, uh, I have to because in competition, if they can see the carrier film, uh, the clear film around the uh, decal itself, uh, that's a no-no. Um, that's a mismodeling basic. So, you know, just learning and mastering decals can take you, you know, years uh, to get it right. Um, I will never say that I've mastered decals because there's so many different types and so many issues you can run into. Um, I have them down to a point now where I'm pretty comfortable with every decal I ever touch. Uh, but I'm sure there's something going to come along that's going to, you know, throw me a curve. And, you know, that all rolls into basics. Um, and I made a comment in one of my videos about I think I'm about 80% mastered on my basics. And that's probably about as far as I will ever go. Um, because things change and, you know, products change. And just when you think you have it figured out, uh, you may not. Um, so, you know, as far as the basics, there's, there's a lot involved in it. Um, you know, and the best way to learn the basics is to build a box stock model and apply all those things. Get rid of the injector pin marks. Get rid of the seams. Get rid of the mold lines that's in a, in a body. Um, you know, that kind of stuff is all basics. And when you go to, like, an IPMS judge competition, uh, that's the first thing that we judge on is, um, you know, how well the basics are, are applied to a model. And uh, a lot of people say, well, it should be judged on, you know, accuracy and this and that and the other. Well, you know, it may get to that uh, during the judging process. But initially, uh, the models that are on the table are being judged on the basics. So if you have um, 10 models on the table and nine of them, uh, you can clearly see missed modeling basics where they weren't addressed. And one of them, it, all of the modeling basics are, you know, just uh, applied very well. Uh, most likely that model is going to win. Um, at that point in time, if the paint and everything is good on that model, uh, the judges will be looking at, okay, that model is number one, now what's number two and three? Um, you know, so the basics are very important, and especially at a judge show that's judged properly. Um, but, you know, there's a lot involved in it. It takes years of practice to, um, you know, to really master all of it, and um, it's just attention to detail. You know, and if there's any, uh, you know, questions or, um, you know, ideas that people have on uh, the basics and they would like me to do a video or a tutorial or whatever on how to, um, you know, take care of seams or injector pin marks or mold lines, um, just, you know, 
shoot me a message and say, hey, I'd like to see a video on this, and I'll be more than glad to do one for you. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what all is um, involved in the basics. And another thing that you can also do um, is you can go to the IPMS uh, website, and you can scan around on their homepage, and they will, uh, there's a section in there that tells you what the IPMS looks for uh, in a model as far as judging. And it will explain a lot of the things that I just explained plus other things. So uh, that's always good information to, um, you know, keep handy and refer back to. Uh, even to this day, I still find myself referring back to it. Um, and they give it to you for uh, automotive and and uh, armor and aircraft and figures. Uh, there's there's basics and applications that need to be um, addressed on each one of those individual uh, uh, genres of modeling. And uh, so hopefully that will give you a little bit of an idea about the basics. Um, you know, it, it's a long subject and I could go on for an hour, but we're not going to do that. So uh, hopefully that helps you out a little bit and anybody else is checking out this video. And uh, like always, I thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.